Good afternoon on what is a mild grey overcast day. It is Thursday the 3rd of February and I'm back in the reading nook uh, with some parcels and of course a nice hot cup of tea. And um, <clears throat> I'm going to continue digging into this parcel. And the next thing, um, you see I've already uh, pulled out this and done an unboxing of that. The next thing I am going to look at is um, this, which is um, Viking Death Squad. Um, it's from Runehammer and Modifius Entertainment. Um, let's see, um, when, de when dead is worth and the stars have died, coffins fall and ten will rise. Viking Death Squad is a tabletop. A role playing game based on the Black Sabbath song War Pigs. Um, this game transport you to, transport you to the desolate world of the, of the 100th century where undead Vikings and their human allies fight against foes both cybernetic and demon. Uh, comes work comes with complete core rules. Uh, create immortal or human characters, expansive world setting, monsters, vehicles, gear, and more. Sample adventure and campaign starters. So let's have a look inside. Let's just grab the knife from up there. We should have got down beforehand, of course, but you know. Okay. This comes open nice and easily. Oh, careful. Okay, almost there. So, um, that's actually separate. So, don't actually need that. But, I mean, I'll slip that in case, but essentially, what you've got is this. Um, very nice slim little hardback book. Um, it comes in at just 127 pages. We open up onto uh, the inside front cover. Um, more artwork. Um, at, uh, and uh, in the distant centuries they lie poisoning with greedy minds relentless thirst for power now in its final hour only hell remains defying as the moon and stars are dying once ten thousand only ten lucifer to bring the end this is the earth of 10191 um which you may find uh, a date familiar um at um since yeah um the year it is the year uh, 10191 um, in the reign of um, at, um, Padasha, the uh, um, Padasha Emperor Shaddam the Fourth. Um, yeah, it's a very Dune date. It's the starting date for Dune, in fact. Um, but, uh, so uh, a purely coincidence, I'm sure. Um, so we have an explanation, introduction of fundamentals, and death on all sides, and the an explanation of the screaming skulls. Before we get on to the. Um, Warlands, a really nice grim dark artwork. So if you're sort of looking for a far, far incredibly far future science fiction um, game, I suppose um, pre-apocalypse or post-apocalypse, you know, basically around that time, um, you may well be looking for Viking Death Squad. Um, but, uh, so um, we have descriptions of the forest and the canopy, their fungal dead, and the titans. And then through into um, hell, uh, where I think the war is going on. And we've got an actual, actual atlas of Earth. So um, you can see how the world has changed in the next 8,000 years. And, uh, and, um, so we've got a breakdown of, of the various areas. Um, and background, um, and then uh, and essentially more lyrics from the song. I will, I will refrain from giving you any more of those. You can go and enjoy those um, uh, sung in their original form um, rather than me reading them out. So roll the dice, um, and you'll just need a set of six sided dice. Um, but, um, and uh, essentially, uh, yeah, you essentially you, the, the the easier the task, the, the fewer roll uh, dice rolls you made. So presumably it's a roll under game, 
Um, yep, at, um, uh, and then in went essentially. Uh, things that well, it's different is, let's see, um, it's covering movement and distance, reactions, that sort of thing, and sample tests before going to the north with the fact is that armor is life. Most tabletop games use hit points to make your, tri your trip to death door. Not here. Uh, but, um, if you're hit by any harmful force with no armor to protect you, you are dead. Uh, so, um, all gear in Viking Death Squad has three hits. Uh, once the third hit is crossed over, the gear is destroyed. Okay. Um, yeah, but um, so on. Um, but, uh, I've got a sample of play there as well. So that'll be a big help. Um, and we get on to. So that's an explanation of the rules. Um, So it's quite short, um, and then we get on to the Crucible of Heroes, which is the section where basically you'll be creating your characters. So character concept, which is whether, you know, think visually, use teamwork, give it a twist. And so you have classic roles uh, discussed here. Uh, defender, tank, sit a slayer, damage, support healer, nuke, utility, scout, control. Um, and then you've got um, the various explanations of the, of, of, of the stats. So power, aim, speed, wit, gut, and resolve, and how to roll a, roll up a hero. Right, um, and then, uh, then we look at the particular um, hero types. So we've got human there, then a list of the typical roles you can play. Um, hijacker, grave robber, exorcist, assassin, smuggler, jet biker, junker, excavator. Um, and then we do the same thing for Immortals, Viking Warriors, Shield Maidens, Visigoths, um, you know, Rune Cutters, M M Mariner, Dead Talker, Berserker, Trickster. And of course, in the far future, of course, Vikings have horned helmets. Even if they are curved in another direction. Uh, so, explosive the skills. So it's such a look, interesting game, you know, you are looking for sort of like a mini, uh, mini game, really. Uh, play one shots or like a mini campaign. Um, but, uh, you know, see, because um, because it, this is essentially it's a military science fiction game, but set in a yeah really dark future. Um, and um, and then basically you create a bit of background for the character. Uh, and this is done for the path of now. Um, but, um, and then you basically choose some gear and away you go. I've got a basic gear list and nicely um, you have an illustration too. Um, uh, what's we got in here? Um, spell stones list, hell gear list, um, just items you can find I presume, blood runes, uh, the source because you're involved with Vikings, you're gonna need runes. And um, then we've got the dog, dogs of Ledgrave, essentially, is a setting uh, point for which you, you're kicking off your game. But, uh, and start playing and going out and destroying things and. Um, uh, and then um, here's, the, here's the Game Master section, which begins with, let's just take the page, um, the Master's Pentacle. So yeah, thematically this looks a lot of fun, um, probably fairly easy to, to pick it up. Um, <clears throat> and if you're looking for, you know, it, it, the advice here is make it metal, um, but, um, you know, um, inspired by the lyrics. So you know take it literally for the lyrics make it metal make it make it metal make it metal and even more of that you know make it metal make it metal uh, so let's look at the types of stories so warland stories um the king's stories uh poison forest stories hell stories uh and the make it earth um you know just switching to the tone of the game as well with the advice um so yeah so dealing with things you know 
interesting thing that I'm going to make sure you have chunky tech. So make the tech big, uh, bulky, um, but, uh, but effective as it were. So yeah, more information such as war pick secrets, uh, ranks of the infinitum, uh, and the Ashfields. Uh, master the dice. So here's the advice for the GM on running the game. But, uh, and then advice on master of scenes. I like this. It's basically, you know, it is very um, the, 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 the style and layout of this really is useful you know, for finding things and telling you what's being discussed here. Uh, you know, so master of scenes. Um, you know, all the way up to coming, covering a combat, and then we go into Master of Truth, um, and that's exploring sort of like the hidden truths of the game. Uh, and then are we the enemy? So lots of different stats for the types of um, foe that you're going to encounter as a human or an immortal Viking. <clears throat> so you've got uh, an, an annihilator, a Borg, a uh, very skeletal Borg there. Uh, and then basically there's the Borg uh, armoured, and then a Hulk Borg. And you've got other creatures out there as well, because hey, it's not just robots, it's not just Borgs, it's... Um, to creepoids and dogs and dragonflies <clears throat> and flame beasts, excuse me. Nice hot cup of tea and more until we get down to um, Blood and Justice, uh, which is a beginning scenario. I'll just take that page. There we go. Um, so yeah, um, tight little focused role playing game, um, Viking Death Squad. Okay, well I hope you've enjoyed this uh, uh, unboxing in the nook. If you have, please do click the like button down below. And of course, if you've got any feedback, I um, appreciate you posting that. And lastly, if you want to be alerted to yet more unboxings in the nook, uh, where you will see me out here. Um, with a box and uh, a nice hot cup of tea and I will take out a book or a game I will unbox it and talk about it to, to the best extent of my knowledge for roughly 10 minutes or so um, then please do hit that subscribe button once again thanks for watching another unboxing in the nook and I'll be back very soon bye for now